actually know if Brian has seen the Critter Hunter challenge, so I should just probably give him a call. James from Divers Ready. Hey, hello. What's up, Brian? It's James from Divers Ready. How you doing? Hey, James. How are things down in South Florida? Yeah, man. Things are going great for us. I hope your uh, family is staying safe. Oh, we're doing good. We're actually out on the water, me and the wife and little girls, and just having a good day out on the lake. That is awesome. Listen, while you're out in the water, I've got a Critter Hunter challenge for you. A Critter challenge? Yeah, a Critter Hunter challenge. I challenged you to find a paddlefish. A paddlefish? Are you wanting to do some underwater ping pong ball or something? Well, I need something to do during my deco stops. A paddlefish. Okay. Paddlefish it is. Awesome man, good luck. This phone will self-destruct if you set fire to it. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're down here at the American Quarry. This is one of three of the uh, PDRA quarries here in North Carolina. And if you want more information on the PDRA, I'll drop a link down in the description below. You can click on it, read up. If you're local to our area, definitely check it out. It's only $90 your first year to be a member, $70 every year after that, and you get three quarries to dive 24-7. It's a beautiful uh, place to come dive. You can camp, you can cook out, basically anything that you want to do outside of, say, fishing or doing the illegal stuff, but it's a great organization to be a part of. But the reason we're here today is because I'm answering a challenge for Mr. James Blackman from Divers Ready, and we're gonna go out and try to find some paddlefish. And the reason we're here is all three quarries that are owned by the PDRA, we had paddlefish actually put in here, and it's a great place to come out and find them. Now, they do tend to be skittish. We don't always see them when we dive, but hopefully we'll get some good footage today. And on a beautiful sunny day like this, you can typically see them out on the surface but around the 40 to 60 foot mark is where we're hoping to see them as well. But we're gonna jump in and I'll give you some background on paddlefish while we're underwater as well. And you know, hopefully you guys will learn something from this video. So with that being said, I'm gonna grab my tanks and we're gonna go jump in. One of the things that I really enjoy about the PDRA quarries is all the unique structures you can dive on. Here we're diving on an old siphon water tank. This quarry even has a school bus that divers can explore. With many different openings, this makes a great place for instructors to teach a wreck diver, or even an advanced wreck diver course. Even side mount divers like myself can have some fun in these quarries. You guys may remember this houseboat we sunk a few years ago. Probably the biggest draw to this quarry are the aerators that are at the bottom. They not only keep the water oxygenated, helping the marine life flourish, they also control the temperature of the water, eliminating any thermoclines. But that's enough about the quarry itself. Let's find some paddlefish. Paddlefish are prehistoric fish, named for the elongated snout that resembles a paddle. The snout is known as a rostrum. 
Some scientists believe that they have existed for more than 125 million years. I would like to thank a good friend of mine, Mr. Philip Hogan, for some of the footage you're watching now. Paddlefish tend to be easily frightened when divers swim by. From the bottom of the quarry, you can usually look up to see the distinct shadows overhead. There are only six known species of paddlefish, four which are extinct. The two that remain are the American paddlefish and the Chinese paddlefish. The Chinese paddlefish are commonly referred to as a Chinese swordfish or elephant fish. American paddlefish are some of the largest freshwater fish in the world. They can reach lengths of 5 feet, but they do fall short in comparison to their Chinese counterparts, which can reach lengths of 23 feet. The largest American paddlefish ever recorded was caught in 1916 and was measured to be 7 feet and 1 inches long. Its weight was documented to be over 198 pounds. Paddlefish are covered with electrical receptors that help them zero in on their prey. Known as filter feeders, paddlefish feast upon zooplankton. If divers are patient enough, they can catch a paddlefish while it's actually feeding. So there you go guys, that's my critter challenge there for you James. That was the paddlefish and of course this is where we find them at. We've got three quarries here in the state of North Carolina that's absolutely flooded with these fish. Guys, if you want to know more about paddlefish, I'll put a link down below as well and that way you can click on it and do a little bit of research and learn about some of the ecology that's here in our local quarries as well. But now I guess it's my time to actually uh, challenge somebody and I want to challenge Church over at Rest and Rec. Church, I challenge you to go out and find a Chinese mystery snail and tell everybody about what they are. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for me. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.